What's up everybody? Today I'm decided to give a little public service announcement. We're going to talk about motor bloggers, what you need to know. During our chat, we're going to go up into Woodland Park in Passaic County, New Jersey, Jersey to Garrett Mountain and Rifle Camp Park. Hope you enjoy the ride. If you get the urge, at any time during the video, click on the mask at the bottom right corner to subscribe. I'm from New Jersey. Okay, this is the map of the area where we're going. I didn't pr do a particular route because you can get there a few ways. Best is off of Route 46 onto Rifle Camp Road. And as usual, before you go, ride careful, ride smart. How you doing, YouTube? All right, I'm going to start off with this thing. First, to tell you where I'm coming from with this, this video. In the last year, I've known or I've had friends who've known at least three to four people that have died on motorcycles and it was usually young guys young guys or girls and they were pretty much probably riding something they shouldn't have and they were doing something they shouldn't have been doing uh, or it could have just been it's just an experience and my point here is I've watched a lot of these moto vloggers on YouTube and I just don't know where even to start all right I just I'm, I'm reaching out to the older riders older experienced riders to, to tell the younger riders and if you're watching this and you're a younger rider to take heed and to know that these quote-unquote moto vloggers they're not professionals they're not professional motorcycle riders and 90% of them are breaking the law in their videos and they're really driving carelessly they're riding their motorcycles in, a, in an unsafe manner I would say most of the ones I've seen, number one, they pass on double lines. They s definitely speed. And when I say speed, I'm not talking 5, 10 miles over the limit. I'm telling, talking to these guys that are doing 100, 120 on their, on their uh, super bikes. They're riding with no hands. They're popping wheelies. They ride with the selfie stick. Uh, you know what? If they want to do that, that's fine. But I just, this is going out to you. Don't do it. All right, don't do it. If you want to do something stupid like that, maybe down the road uh, when you've got more experience and you're about to find. But these guys are just setting a bad example. Are, there in, are their videos entertaining? Yes, they are entertaining. But I just want to reach out and let you people know that it's a recipe for disaster. Don't do what they're doing on these videos. The other thing I'm noticing, they have a big tendency to road rage. Just because they're on a motorcycle, I notice this about a lot of motorcyclists. Just because they're on a motorcycle, it's more offensive if somebody's on their phone or cuts them off. They wouldn't get that excited if they were in their car. One guy, self-proclaimed on his, on his title, he's got his title and he's on, underneath it, it's a subtitle, Professional Hater. Alright, this guy got cut off by some woman and it was it wasn't on purpose he stops in front of her and gives her the finger for at least probably like five minutes and saying f you f you f you now she number one she can't hear him because she's in the car and he's got a helmet on so the tapes running tapes running tapes running and all of a sudden he's surprised because the cops pulled up the cops pulled up because she called the police on him because he's given a bad name to motorcyclists all right maybe she cut him off okay you're going to sit there for five minutes and give her the finger? People, control your rage, control your your attitude on a motorcycle. Everybody thinks motorcyclists are assholes. Don't let them, don't prove it to them, don't prove them right. There's a lot of bad press in the news on motorcyclists. Prove them, don't prove them right by doing the stuff that's being shown in these videos. The double line, you, you you can't piss on a double line any more than if you were in a car. You wouldn't do it in your car, so why do you do it on your bike? You wouldn't do a hundred on your, in your car, probably. Don't do it, why are you doing it in a bike? You're not sticking a selfie stick out your window of your car, so why are you doing it on a bike? I can't emphasize enough, this this sport, you know, there's, there's so many accidents that can be prevented. 
So all I can tell you is if you want professional advice, take a motorcycle safety foundation course or join a club with experienced riders. That's all I got to say about motor vloggers. It's up to you to use your head and make the right decision what you do. Only you can make that decision to ride careful and ride smart. Okay, we just rode through Garrett Mountain Park. A little background, Garrett Mountain is a lot bigger and a lot more popular than Rifle Camp. You can bring a dog there if you want. There's a jogging track, a walking track, whatever you want to call it. There's a pond and whatever. There's a good, nice overlook too. Now, Rifle Camp Park, they do not allow dogs, but you will see a lot of wildlife over there. Every time I go there, my wife and I see deer, turkeys, and whatever else over there. Ducks, obviously. They're just good places to chill out. Just kind of background for my motor vlogging video. Hope you enjoy. Let's close it out with a little music. And hope to see you next time. Doctor told me that's how I'm telling you. No sense now to catch this in a lie. I can't hide in a mountain of words. I can't rationalize a simple truth. In the simple black and white My insides are black and blue And I'm going to die He put his body on the sofa That body turned traitors 24 years Locked up in my head 21 Quick of mind, oh yeah, muscles in motion with a virus cocked like a paranoid gun. He said, Well, I don't remember inviting this in. Oh, help me out, buddy, where did I go wrong? Simple black and white And I'll never have an answer yeah. Can't undo what's been done He said Trying to think of my family Oh, you know, I'm trying to think of my God I am opening my eyes to the probabilities But in the simple black and white My family's a stranger And my God, he's turned his back on me Set my body on the sofa My body's so healthy, yes Collect my emotions for a while But I found nothing to tell him No, nothing to show him Till he turned to me with a bitter smile He said in the grand scheme I guess I really don't matter Oh, millions 
have died from this plague of you. And I see him in the simple black and white. I simply don't care. Cause millions of other people aren't you. He put his arms around me. He said to me gently. Okay, thanks for watching. Really appreciate you taking this ride with me. If you liked the video, click the old like button. And for more rides through New Jersey, don't forget to subscribe to the Lone Ranger on Two Wheels. Our next ride will most likely be to Spruce Run Recreation Area. Until then, ride careful, ride smart. <laughs>